This video's Twitter shoutout goes to at MegPeeny4 saying, Sometimes when you're rollerblading in a Toronto Raptors mascot costume, you just gotta fall flat on your face. If you would like a Twitter shoutout for the next video, all you have to do is follow me at at TechFastTech and tweet me something funny. What's up guys, Colton that tech guy here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 5. Uh, which Apple is saying is the best thing to happen to iPhones since iPhone. And by testing this out in the Apple Store, um, I'm pretty sure they're right on that one. Um, but you can pick this up with a two-year contract with 16 gigabytes for $199, uh, 32 gigabytes for $299, and 64 gigabytes for $399. And I have the 32 gigabyte uh, model right here. Also worth noting is that the iPhone 4S is still available with 16 gigabytes of storage at $99, and the iPhone 4 is also still available with 8 gigabytes of storage for free, both on a two-year contract. Um, the iPhone 5 also has a wide variety of characters in the U.S., like Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint. But before uh, you decide which character to use, just consider that the iPhone 5 now has LTE capabilities, so if it's available in your area, um, check to see if LTE is available in your area per carrier. Um, I have the Verizon model right here, so let me tell you a bit about it. So the iPhone 5 comes in two different colors. There is a black and slate version and a white and silver version, which I'll go into a little further detail once we get into the package, but I have the white and silver version right here. So taking a look around the package, we have our Apple logos on the top and bottom, the iPhone 5 logos on the side, this time uh, in a new font. It actually looks rather nice, a little classy. And on the back we have our capacity as well as our um, what's in the box and our serial information. The iPhone 5 is powered by the A6 chip which Apple claims is twice as fast um, as the A5 in CPU and GPU performance and is also running iOS 6, which is the new operating system Apple recently released. And I've done a walkthrough of that, so I'll leave a link in the description below, as well as an annotation at the end of this video if you'd like to check that out. So let's break into the package. And I am very excited about this. This is my first iPhone. If I can even cut through the plastics, just take the plastic off. there. Lift the lid. And there it is. Oh boy guys, I'm excited. I know you probably aren't as excited as I am, but I'm pretty excited. So, let's pick it up. So just by taking it out of the package, you can feel um, just how light this thing is. It's 20% lighter than the previous generation, um, coming in at 3.95 ounces. Um, it's also 18% thinner than the previous generation, coming in at 0.3 inches thick. Um, so let's just set this aside real quick and see what else we get in the package. Um, so we'll put that right there. And then just lift this tab and move the tray aside. And we have our literature. So let's open that up. Uh, hello, which is basically just a... Uh, quick start guide highlighting the uh, key features in iOS 6 which is going to be on the iPhone 5. We have our warranty information as well as pretty large Apple stickers. Um, let's see what else we get in the box. We have our lightning connector um, which is on um, all of Apple's new devices, well, except for their MacBooks, but on their iDevices. See, it's very small, slims down pretty much any device it's been given to so far. Um, and it's all flash, so, or not flash, it's all uh, digital, so that's pretty nice to have. No more analog anymore. Um, we also have our 5-watt uh, uh, wall wart, which goes into the wall and just plug it right in. And we also have our ear pods. And this time, instead of the uh, package packaging that we get in the uh, iPods, we get a little carrying case, which is nice that they've included that. So it's kind of like uh, what you would get if you purchase these by themselves. So let's get to the star of the show, the iPhone 5 itself. So take off the 
plastic on the front. Set that aside and take off the plastic on the back and set that aside. Now let's take a look around the device itself. So taking a look around on the left side we have our uh, mute switch, uh, also switch into vibration. We got our volume up and down buttons. On the top we have our sleep wake and on off switch. Um, and the headphone jack to be noted has now been move to the uh, bottom of the uh, device. So it used to be on the top with previous iPhones, but it's now moved to the bottom, which is nice because the wire could get in the way if you were like typing on it or something like that. And on the uh, right side, we have our nano SIM uh, tray, which compared to the mini SIM is a lot smaller. So keep that in mind as well. And on the bottom, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack our microphone, our lightning connector port, as well as our speaker. On the back, uh, things have really changed design-wise. You can see we now have this aluminum back um, in the white version, which is pure aluminum. And then in the black version, you will get the anodized aluminum for that slate coloring. And then on the top and bottom, we have those glass cutouts to allow things like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and cellular co connections to uh, make it through the metal body of the iPhone itself. Top of the back we have our 8 megapixel eyesight camera with auto focusing and face detection, uh, panorama and HDR capabilities, and it is also able to record uh, 1080p video at 30 frames per second with video stabilization, so that's pretty nice. Um, also, one thing to note is you can take photos now while recording video, and I'll demo that um, in a later video when I do the camera testing of the iPhone. And uh, next to that, we have our microphone, and then next to that, um, we have our LED flash. And one thing to note about the microphone is that it actually hears the noise around you while you're taking a phone, so it kind of helps uh, with the noise cancellation while you're taking a call, so that's pretty nice. On the front, we have our FaceTime HD camera, which has now been moved to the, to the middle instead of on the side like in previous devices, and it is capable of recording in 720p with 1.2 megapixel stills, and below that we have our earpiece for taking calls, and then next to that we have our ambient light sensor, and then at the bottom we have our beloved home button. So I just activated and set up the iPhone 5 off camera, and if you want to see the whole setup process, I'll leave a link in the description below of a video I found of someone doing it. Um, but now the screen is, it's a 4-inch retina display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 with a PPI or pixels per inch of 326. So this new 4-inch uh, screen now has uh, 5 rows of icons instead of the previous 4. And now uh, has some companies uh, are working on optimizing their apps for this larger screen. Um, but apps that haven't been optimized yet get the black bars on the top and the bottom of the app, um, like the in, uh, developer intended. So you'll get that. And we also have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, uh, which means that you won't get the black bars when watching video. So it fills the entire screen, which is pretty nice. Um, so that pretty much does it for this unboxing and overview of the iPhone 5. And I'm going to be running this through the paces these next couple of weeks, so keep an eye out for those videos in the future by subscribing right up here. Um, also, leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see uh, done on the iPhone 5, whether it be uh, new features or apps and stuff like that. I also recently did an unboxing and gaming overview of the new iPod Touch 5th generation and I'll leave an annotation at the end of this video and also a link in the description if you want to check that out. So alright guys, that does it for this video. See you again in the next one.